to make some pork satay. I'm going to make the mixture first and then put it in the refrigerator. We're going to make these on a very unusual skewer. We're going to use lemongrass as the skewer, but we'll talk about that later on. I have in my bowl one pound of ground pork, and to that I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of salt, four cloves of minced garlic, I'm going to add some pepper, and I'm going to add some salt. Uh, I'm going to start off with a half a teaspoon. I like to undersalt things because we're also going to have a dipping sauce and that's going to have a lot of flavor, so we don't need a lot of flavor here. I'm going to put in a half a teaspoon of ground coriander. Now, the original recipe for this called for minced coriander roots. Well, I don't know where to get those because I hunted around everywhere. I went to Asian markets. Nobody had them, so I'm using ground coriander and backing off and just making it a half a teaspoon. And then I want one tablespoon of soy sauce. Again, there's more sodium in here, so we didn't need an awful lot of regular table salt. And now I'm going to use my really good tools and just mince this up, mix it up, excuse me. And then I'm going to put it in a smaller bowl and I will refrigerate it until I am ready to put it on the lemongrass skewers. And like I said, I'll talk to you about those later on. That was another thing I had to go hunt for. All right, that's about it. Put it in a smaller bowl. I'm going to cover it with some plastic wrap, put it in the refrigerator, and after I clean up, I'll show you how to put these on the lemongrass skewers. So Pam and I are going to make the sweet and spicy Thai chili sauce that's going to go with our pork on the lemon skewers. I'm going to start with one half cup plus two tablespoons of sugar. And Pam, what else we have? Uh, we have a quarter of a cup of rice wine vinegar. Okay. And then I have three cloves of garlic that are chopped that go in. And then I have a quarter of a cup of water that goes in. And then I'm going to measure out three tablespoons of fish sauce. And you can get this in the supermarket, right? Every supermarket has fish sauce nowadays in the ethnic aisle. Um, you see with the everywhere. soy sauces or? Um, where you would find all the other oriental type foods. I don't know if they would have it where the regular vinegars and stuff. Are. I don't know. I'll have to take them then. I'm, I'm pretty tables. sure I found mine in the aisle with all the rest of the um, oriental type foods. And in goes two tablespoons of sherry. Now this is regular sherry. It's not cooking sherry because cooking sherry has an awful lot of uh, salt in it. So this is just regular sherry. Not a flavored, not a cream sherry. Okay. Not flavored at all. And then I'm going to eyeball in a half a teaspoon to one, um, a half a teaspoon to one tablespoon of the crushed red pepper, but this is, would be to your taste. To your taste. You like it? I mean, we've already got a lot of sugar in there. There's the sweet side. Yep. And now Pam's putting in the hot side. How do you like it? I know Pam likes it hot. I do like it hot. How about you? Whatever you want. A little more? I'm, I'm, good. Good. I'm game for it. Game for it. Sure. What the heck? All right, so that's what I'm putting in, which might be a teaspoon. That looks like about a half. teaspoon. Okay, and now I'm going to put this on a burner, and we are going to bring this to a boil, and we are going to let it, it, once it comes to a boil, I'll turn it down to a simmer, and then we're going to reduce it by half. And then once that is done, then we'll add a cornstarch thickener. But this is going to take, oh, about five minutes. Okay. All right, Pam, I think this is reduced by about half, so now what we need to do is put it in our thickener. So you have... I have one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch, and then I have three tablespoons of water. So I'm going to okay. add the water to the And you want to make sure the water is cold water when you add it to cornstarch, otherwise it might clump if it's warm or hot. Oh, is that why that happens to me? <laughs> I didn't know that. You can, after you... You know, uh, dissolve it with cold water, then you can add it to a hot liquid to oh, thicken things up. I have had that lumpy thing happen. I never knew. Cold water? Now I know. Cold water. Something as simple as that, right? So this okay. is all nice and mixed. Okay, just pour it in. Pour it in. And after Pam pours it in, I'm going to mix it up 
and we're going to simmer this for another two to three minutes and our sauce will be done. It smells delicious. It doesn't it smell it wonderful? It smells great, yeah. All right, this is about done. And it's gonna look watery right now and as it sits, it will thicken up. And there's your Thai spicy sweet chili sauce that we will use with our pork on lemon skewers. Mm, cannot wait to dip into That's that. Delish. Here's the pork mixture that I put together earlier and we're going to get our skewers ready right now. We have some unusual skewers here. We have some lemongrass. Wow. And this is what lemongrass looks like when it's uh, just beginning. Yeah, when it's a baby and it grows to be a very large ornamental grass, but it's edible. And then this is what it looks like when you get it in the store, which I had a very hard time finding. And you, you want to clean it off. It comes off, it's like in layers. You can see how some of them, yeah. I've washed them even though they look brownish. And so this is how you buy it, right in the store? Just right. Use... I had to go to a, an Asian market. I looked all around, couldn't find it anywhere. Finally found it in a very small little Asian market. And here we go. And this is going to act as our skewer. Wow. That's neat. Yeah. Very, it's very stiff. It is very stiff. And after you grill them, this is edible. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it's going to be really good on just on the grill. It, if you really want to eat, you could chew on it if you want to. It's yeah. going to be kind of hard. But if you cut it up and, and put it into stir fries and stuff, that's when you eat it. So they use this a lot in Thai cooking? Absolutely, or? which is why I had a hard time finding it. So what we're going to do is take, oh, I don't know, how much would you say? A glop? A glop. <laughs> a glop. And a good handful. Put it on our skewer. And then just form the meat around the skewer. That's neat. And make sure we get it nice and thick on all around. Want to give me a hand? Yeah, I'll yeah. try one. Grab one. And we're just going to make four of these, and then we're going to grill them right away. And we have a little indoor grill. We, we you can do this on your outdoor grill, obviously, but there. This is neat. This okay. is very very cool. And we're going to serve this with a really nice um, Thai chili it's sauce. It's a, uh, it's sweet and it's spicy and it's really good. You could actually use the sauce for just about anything. That sounds delicious. How am I doing? Is good. That, do I need more yeah, on no, this? No, no. You're just fine. Better formed. Oh, maybe I've had a little bit more practice. And we're going to grill these right away. I got the okay. grill going. Oops, sorry. Just want to get a little bit more. All right. I'm gonna take care of that yep. and just put it off to the side. And like I said, this lemongrass was very hard to find. I was able to find lemongrass in a dried, chopped form and you know, a spice area in an oriental market, but I wanted the fresh because I wanted them to be used as skewers. There we go. And now we have our little grill all heating up, and we're going to cook these uh, for about three or four minutes per side. This is really unusual. This is fun. That would be great for a party. It would. You could stand these up at a cup later, be out and buy to pick them up. And it's a good conversation piece. It is. And the lemongrass, I don't know if it will, but it should, because we're heating it, add a little bit of lemon into the meat. Yeah, and we'll just see how that works out. So we'll give that about two, three, four minutes per side. We'll just keep checking it until it's done, and then we'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, Pam, I think our pork and our lemongrass skewers are done. I can't wait. We've got some rice here to go with them. Oh, wow. And our sauce. Look at that. Is that cool? That's beautiful. And you can just set these down on a platter. That looks beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. You bring that to the table. Yeah, you, know, you can make a whole bunch. I mean, if you're doing this for a crowd, but we're just doing it, you know, for us. 
that so, are so impressive. So there you go. You have pork on lemongrass skewers with a Thai sweet, spicy chili sauce. Let's get eating. Yeah, lads.